You didn't say action. Action. How you doing today, guys? Ryan D at ZZP here. Happy holidays, and today we're talking about the P0171 code. All right, guys, so the P0171 code is a very common code that we get a lot of questions about. It's people all of a sudden see this code and they think, oh my God, my engine's running too lean. My engine's gonna blow up. Not the case, guys. It's all about your mass airflow sensor or commonly referred to as the MAP sensor. Any sort of unmetered air getting into your engine between the mass airflow sensor and the intake manifold, actually at your engine, any unmetered air getting in will cause this code to actually pop up on your on your dash. Obviously, y'all, we all know what a check engine light looks like. It's a little engine transmission looking thing on your dash, orange flash at you. Some of you have one permanently because you haven't fixed your cars, but you know, details. This can happen for a, a, a number of reasons. The P0171 is a code that basically says too lean, bank one. So that means anything pre-engine between the mass airflow sensor and the manifold, like I said. In essence, what it actually means is that if you didn't have fuel trims that every modern vehicle has, then your car would be running lean, but it's not actually running lean. So every vehicle has short and long-term fuel trims. Well, most every vehicle, most modern vehicles. The short-term fuel trim is an immediate correction that the PCM is applying to the car in the moment. And the long-term fuel trim is actually just an average over a short amount of time of the short-term fuel trims lined up. When the P0171 code happens when the long-term fuel trims are actually too high. So what your car is actually telling you in this case in point is that your car would be running lean, but the fuel trims have your back and are actually keeping the car not lean. So your car, like we just said, isn't actually running lean. Your car is just letting you know that you would be if fuel trims weren't a thing. Or even when you're changing your intake tube, the change in the diameter tube can actually impact this. So for instance, if you get a larger diameter intake tube without a PCM tune, while the, the engine is actually getting more air, so through like, over the mass airflow sensor, there isn't as much air flowing over it. So the car thinks that there's some condition where air is escaping or not going into the proper track. So to just try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, this could be from the said intake tube diameter change, vacuum leak on a vacuum uh, tube or a PCV line, Un not having your injectors properly seated uh, is another thing. If air is getting in there, that's another thing that will call a P cause a P0171. And actually sometimes just on highly modified cars, especially when there's less tolerances, um, you know, for that code or less thresholds for that code to come up. Sometimes they come up and they're actually not even like truly what they mean. Sometimes you clear and it doesn't come back for years or months. Um, I personally had this on some of my vehicles uh, way back in the day. So it's one of those codes that number one, when you have that code, check for your va check all your vacuum leaks, check your lines, check your PCV tubes, um, make sure you have a tune on the on the car for the intake tube if it's a larger diameter than stock and check your intake metaphor, check any job you've recently done. Uh, sometimes even a small little cut or a small little brittle tear in a vacuum line can cause this code to come up. It's very simple to fix. Again, once again, PCM tune, check your lines, make sure to seat your injectors, things like that. Um, even sometimes we've seen this code come up when people have to get a new mass airflow sensor. They'll throw a MAF code or something and they'll go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone to get a, another mass airflow sensor. And those sensors read just a little differently than stock. So you'll still have the problem or the code will be gone. Or even sometimes the wiring to the mass airflow sensor could be a little bad, but usually that'll throw, that'll throw a little bit different code. Um, so it's all about the mass airflow sensor in this case. Um, when you see that, you know, too lean, basically your basically the engine has a unmetered air coming into it and it's not very happy. Uh, so it's a very simple fix, kind of do those things and that should kind of lead you on the right path to getting your car to throw, it, throw that check engine light off and you'd have, be a happy customer. So once again, guys, Ryan D at ZZP here. If you have any questions, hit us up at customer service at ZZPerformance.com. Have a good one.